They've been aggressive on the points, too. You saw that right there by McMichaels. McDavid across, drive settle to the middle, got it back, and then was stopped by Kepler. Rebound, Nugent Hopkins off that give and go. Connor McDavid fires to the front of the net, tipped. Right corner played back to Bouchard, waiting at the point. On to McDavid, cross ice, one timer, and Dry Subtle kind of guided that over the crossbar. Tough position, now a one timer to save Kepler. Rebound loose, that might have kissed the goalpost as well. Nugent Hopkins, one timer score. Dry Subtle giving a third crack, makes no mistake, and Edmonton breaks through on the power play. One nothing. Dry Subtle's 33rd. They shut that down, but on the second opportunity, it was a shot mentality. And you're going to see Dreisaitl set up in his regular spot. Here's the first one that goes off the left pad. Of Kemper corralled once again, and they just keep going right back to the same spot. Shot, boom. There's one that misses. They corral the puck again, and this is why this power play is so good. From different angles, they can set that motion. This time, it's Nugent Hopkins from the bumper position that finds Drysell that quickly. So this will give the Oilers an opportunity to maintain the zone. Drysell will score that power play goal, 16th of the season, second in the league. Boy, to Sam Reinhart. Now McDavid. Bouchard, McDavid, loads, fires, scores! 2 nothing Edmonton, two power play goals! Have changed the tide early for Edmonton. This is a great shot by Connor McDavid. Finding that confidence, very similar to Pittsburgh. Picks the short side as he scored in that game as well in the first period and here it just uses the screen picks that side corner on Kemper great job to be patient on this power play we talked about the aggressiveness and Roche Nichenko put it behind the net centering pass for Jensen that was blocked Roche Nichenko shoots and scores that's his second NHL goal posted in and the Caps on their first shot, get back in the game, it's 2-1. to one. Wow, and it had eyes, no question about it. Great shot by Maroshnichenko, as you talked about, his second NHL goal, scored his first one a couple games ago against the Pittsburgh. And he's back into the mix and playing in the NHL, and this is just a laser. A good little defensive play here to keep things to the outside. But when this puck comes around, Maroshnichenko just kind of says, okay, I'm going to rip this one right here. He kind of takes it off the half wall, spins and shoots. Never a bad idea to get a puck to the net from any angle. That's exactly what he does, and he goes post and in past Stuart Skinner. Back to Sandine. Now snapped across. Ovechkin will pick it up off the boards. Swing it across for Max Pacioretty. Ovechkin fires at a block shot. Rebound score! McMichael ties it. Skinner down and out. It's 2 all. Two goals on two shots for the Caps. Ovechkin Rista that was going to become dangerous. They were waiting, working to the outside. Edmonton's in a good position. And right here, you can see Ovechkin's walking in. And it's the big block by DeHarnay. Bounces right to McMichael, who wastes little time getting this away in the slot. I mean, he just stops it and lets it go. And it finds its way in the back of the net. So with a power play goal, the Capitals have tied this game. Ovechkin and Pacioretty with the assists on Connor McMichael's 13th. Leon Drysaddle plugs it in. Edmonton's 2 0 lead is gone. Now McDavid to Zach Hyman. So loading up here McDavid, Drysaddle, and Hyman. Five on five. McDavid trying to slide in front. Hyman to the rebound score. 3 2 Edmonton. Hope you took the over. Hyman's 44th. McDavid, dry silent, it pays off in a big way. Great job here by Kulak. A little bit of patience to find McDavid. That quick stop opens up the lane, sends it in behind, and the first one doesn't go. Great save by Kemper in tight. On the first opportunity right here by Hyman. Gets down, takes it away, but the second one is bashed home as he's done all year long, and the Oilers retake the lead. Saved by Tristan Jari. Prevented him from getting the Hattie. Looking to join Kale McCarr last week for Hattrick. Wide open. Ovechkin. What a remarkable save. First save, as you mentioned, it's an incredible. This is a gaping net for Ovechkin, and he dives across and takes away. Now Ovechkin. To break loose, McDavid could not slither past Jensen. And Van Riemsdyk will tuck it back behind. Sandine put it to the middle of the ice. So Bell, point blank, and he hit the goal post.
And he's got that amazing release with so much momentum. Open yet mark denied by Kemper. Point blank off a feed to the slot. Ovechkin too shy of his 19th 20 goal season. McDavid, what a save! Kemper sprawling fully to deny Zach Hyman. McDavid 106 points, now one behind Kucherov. And Louis knows he does not want to have the call. Oh, here's a dead shot score! Zach Hyman set up by Ryan Nugent Hopkins! That's two tonight and 45 on the year! Right out of the tape for Hyman. This puck's a knuckler. Nugent Hopkins with a speed. Look at that. Make that pass right through the defender. Just a great job. Ferravari tries to take it away, but no chance. And that zipper right there by Zach Hyman is 45th second of the game, far in. McDavid kicks it out. Bouchard on to Nugent Hopkins. Bouchard. McDavid with a minute to go. Bouchard back to McDavid. Dry settle. Bouchard. One timer score. Third power play goal of the night for Edmonton. It's 5 2. It was an absolute boost bomb, and I don't know if this clip Hyman, from my eyes on the bench, I had the perfect view of this shot going through. And I mean, look at the screen by Zach Hyman in front. He's got to jump to try and get out of the way of this one, because this one goes right through him, but it was the shot mentality by Bouchard. I think he got it. In, and I think he does get this. This might be a hat trick for Zach Hyman. I think he gets this one. Good eyes, Luke. Cleared back the other way by Fogel, tripped up, drives Seidel, beats Carlson, save Kemper, doesn't know where it is, rebound Carlson. CeCe will close quickly, centering pass, Dressel, give it a go, one-timer score! McLeod sets up Fogel, beautiful three-way play, 6-2, and that should steal the deal. This shift. Great defensive play back in the zone. He's been the one that's transported up the ice both times on these sequences. But the four check pays off again. And it's just a little bit off the skate. Tick, tack, toe, finish. By Warren Fogel. Great job here by DeHarnay to get it back into the mix. Really has a sense of where each other are on the ice. Nick Jensen unable to get a shot away. 2 on 1. Now it's Evander Kane with Connor Brown. Kane looking for Brown. Dead. it beside me when he put that puck in the net and you kind of had the feeling it was coming back and a great job by Kane he corrals it has to work around the sprawled out defenseman and zing this through and he makes a great play to get it in there it bounces off of Brown he doesn't care it finds its way in the back of the net and that is a huge goal for him get the monkey off the back and flicked up the boards by Milano. Ferrabari. Drop pass Dylan Strode looking on low. Back to a one-timer. Tremendous stop, Stuart Skinner. Saves on Ovechkin in this game. And what a pass by Strode once again. Takes the outside, to the back across the... Carrick will skate out the remaining time. Edmonton 7, Washington 2. Hyman the hat trick. Brown is first of the year. And Stuart Skinner, victory number 30 of the season.